Well, um, uh, and you, you can introduce yourself. I'm Luna Wolf. There we go. Hello. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Wyndham Price. I'm the director of Crow. The Crow. No, Crow. Crow, not the Crow. Crow. No, no, that Brandon Lee isn't in this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little about a little bit about the Crow without giving too much away, because I haven't seen it yet. Well, that's fine. Um, we think that it's the first ever eco horror, but we might be wrong. Okay. Um, it's about uh, a ruthless businessman called Tucker who wants to raise a wood to the ground to build his sensational dream home for his trophy wife. And uh, there's a squatting tribe of feral people who live in the wood who he evicts violently. One of them remains feral, a young lad who is the eponymous crow of the title, uh, sets about defending the wood with the help of nature. And we find out during the story that uh, the wood is actually built on uh, an ancient burial ground. So the spirits are released and that everybody comes to the defense of the wood. And so Tucker gets his comeuppance. Uh, when filming it, um, obviously because you've got so much of a mix of everything in it, did you find anything particularly difficult to film? Well, we had to deal with inclement weather. Um, we were out in all weathers, in a wood, through storms. It was the autumn after all, you know. Um, but we managed to stay on track and we came in a day early and the last day we just had fun. Hello there, would you Hi. like to introduce yourself to everyone? Hi, I'm Ellen and I play Alicia Tucker in Crow. Ooh, tell us a little bit about your character. So my character is the wife of Tucker, obviously. Uh, they're the couple sort of new made money that come and buy this plot of land on the woods and they decide that they're gonna live there without them realizing it's a little bit like, well, it's, it's built on an old burial ground, so things obviously take a turn for the worst. But she's very, um, first you think she's a bit trophy wife, and as the story progresses, you realise she's got a lot more about her than that. She's not sort of the material, materialistic person that she, she is. She's quite spiritual. She has a really great kind of character arc journey, a good spiritual awakening, and yeah, it's, it's quite an interesting kind of arc for her, so yeah. Seeing as your character took such a turn during the film and everything, is there anything in particular that you um, prepare yourself for when you, you try and do a film like this? Um, I mean, I think, you know, you've got to trust the writing and you've got to trust the journey that's written for you. Um, preparing yourself, you know, it's always good to kind of flesh that character out, to kind of build a backstory and to kind of build some sort of past. So when it's not just what's written on the page, you bring something maybe a little bit more interesting to it, or that it feels like you're putting flesh on the bones that are already there. So yeah. Hi there. Would you like to introduce yourself to everyone? My name's Tom. Hi Tom. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Not bad. Are you having a good day? Yeah, I am. Who's interviewing who here? Oh, come on, okay, you can ask the questions. <laughs> no, it's fine. I was having a conversation I'm with I'm just you. joking, it's fine. Tell us a little bit about your involvement in the film. So, I play Crow in the film. It's called Crow. And um, the film explores, I suppose, through a horror lens and a thriller lens, I, I would argue, okay. our relationship with nature and the consequence of neglecting nature and our symbiotic relationship with it. Without giving too much of a way, can you give us any more about the storyline? It's very difficult. It's not linear. That's something I can say. It's like, it's, so it works up to the midway point in present day and then flashbacks. And the flashbacks get closer to present day until the midway point of the film. And then it's all present day. Okay. That's, um, that was something that interested me as well. Yeah. That form of storytelling and whether we could pull it off. How would you prepare yourself for that kind of storytelling in your character? It's difficult on set because you don't film, you rarely ever film chronologically. And I think my character in the film does have an arc uh, that where he, you know, he's changed by the end due to circumstances yeah. in the film. So that was something I had to, I felt like I had to stay on top of script wise. Hello yeah. there. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> hi. Hey. Do you want to introduce yourself to everyone? Uh, yes, I'm Jason Hughes. I play Millwood in Crow. So Millwood. Uh, tell us a little bit more, more about your character. Okay, so he's sort of as a symbol, he's the good guy, he's a good person. Is he really a good person though? Well, you don't get to see beneath, you don't get to see, you don't get to see too much, but for the purposes of the film, he's a good guy. He's a good guy, I like what that. What he does in his own time, in his downtime, you know, who knows. So when filming something like this, is there anything special that you do to prepare yourself for a character such as this? Like a good not guy. really, no, it's not. Are you really not, just a good guy? 
that he's really just a good guy. I, I couldn't dress him up any other way. He had to be a good guy. So, no, there was nothing really special that I needed to do to prep myself for this. This was about showing up and, uh, and being a good guy. And being a good guy mm. and enjoying yourself doing it. <laughs> yeah, if you can, in like minus six and flipping 30 mile an hour winds and Ooh. hammering rain like we had to, most of it, yeah. I feel for you. Hello, I'm Nick Moran. Hi, Nick Moran. I was huge <laughs> in the 90s. Tell us what you do in the film. Uh, I'm acting in it. And I, and I sort of wrote it. Yeah, acting in it. And I sort, sort of, of wrote, wrote it. it. Yeah, and I'm sort of one of the producers of it. So lots of things. Um, it's a it's a supernatural thriller. A really really simple story based on a on a, a small play that was done in in uh, in Cardiff about a, a rich city boy that that buys a uh, a massive chunk of land that's got off a washed up aristocrat. That's got some a sort of tribe of, of uh, nomads, like pikeys, as far as he's concerned, living on it. Which he, which he decides that he, he needs to get he gets them out so he can he can build his own stately home and make his make you know make his mark on this part of the world. And as the film unfolds, so you realise that uh, you find that the, 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 it's actually a druid burial ground that the the, the, the place is being built up on. And on one of the um, one of the pikeys goes rogue. Uh, and and his, 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 the inference is that he's, he's, he's invested by the spirit of the, the druid sort of kings and, and starts sabotaging things and then ultimately starts killing workers. Or is he just bonkers? You know, so, so that's, that's, that's... Is he just bonkers? Is he just bonkers, you see, that's the thing. It's, a, well, it's deliberately amb ambiguous, you know, you're not sure whether... It, you never see... You only see him, things from his perspective when it's him on his own. And we were very particular in the writing that you don't. The character that Tom plays, Crows, says very, very little apart. So we gave him this wonderful internal monologue that you hear all the time, but you never really see him speaking to anyone else about that. So you don't know if if these things are fact or fiction, or if it's just if it's just a madman running around the woods, or whether he is invest, you know, whether he's being told what to do by you know, by ancient dead druid kings like Terence Stamp. So, so you know, so if, if there's uh, what I loved about the film is if you look at it from my character's point of view, it's a nutter running around the woods. If you look at it from his point of view, he's vested by these druid gods that are making him protect this place. So.